Still didn't buy a battery for this thing. I really want to get this steering figured out because if we can't get it to steer, then basically all the work that I'm putting into it as far as the all the lumber making and basically the new tires or, you know, used tires, the good tires we put on or got put on, that'll all be kind of a waste. So I think that's what we're going to tackle today. I really wish it's kind of cold out. So I really wish it was in the shop, but unfortunately we had to, if you missed that video, be sure to check that out. Uh, the, the last, I think part three was the latest video of the baler. And unfortunately we needed to order more parts for that. So it's kind of been a lengthy process and delays and everything else. So that's been a struggle, but so I can't be in the heat working in the, on this, unfortunately, but, and there, there's some minor things I probably could do to the baler, but I'm just going to wait till we have parts. And I really want to know if I can get the steering worked out. So that's what we're going to be doing today. And I think our best bet, because I really, it's, it's tight. I'm not sure what the deal is. So I think our best bet's going to be to try and take these off and work on each you know, each end by itself solely that way, you know, it's not all connected and intertwined. And there's also a nut under there. As always, the first thing we gotta do is obviously spray this stuff because I'm not too confident in any of that turning loose. And of course we gotta kinda work in a mud pit here. This thing fell off the jack stands. We got a little bit of ice icy snow type stuff and came down here and it ended up the one day it was off like i said if you have missed any parts of the baylor series be sure to check that out we got everything all tore apart nodders are all tore apart We're waiting for more parts they should be here this week so we should be able to get this thing out hopefully by this weekend and we can cross our fingers with that hopefully I always like to work the wrench back and forth because I feel like that really helps to not, number one, break anything and it loosens up all the junk and dirt in there, especially if you sprayed it beforehand. This really seems to help. I'm really hoping these come loose so it's turning and not just pulling straight kind of a nightmare it won't even be usable at that point well, that's kind of that was really sprung I'm not sure why that was pulled so hard but that really sprung back now that still won't turn so I'm not sure I'm gonna just pull this one out because I think it's got something to do with it. I don't know. I want to be able to work on kind of one thing at a time rather than everything. And this one is going to make me hold it. Boy, that one is tight. I guess. If it doesn't break, it's really no no harm, no foul on this. Because this is easy, easily replaceable. But I think we managed to get it broken loose at this point. I am ready for it to get warm. These cold temperatures are... And I don't know why, but for some reason today, I mind it more than I normally do. And I don't even think it's the coldest day. So I've come to the conclusion, which is what I figured it was, these are seized fast because this here, which is pinched now, but this turns now. So, it's definitely something in each one of these ends. So in the midst of popping the cap off, 
yeah that whole spindle or whatever you want to call it is yeah there's a lot of junk in there so i think i actually need to you know try and, and pop these down through and clean them all up and then i think i think at that point they should be good and i'm surprised i can't beat them loose honestly i mean we've been smacking on them and they don't budge remember WD-40 is your friend. It'll eat that stuff away. Forever. Kind of interesting looking at these. That one's flat. And this one is pushed up. So far, I'm not having any luck. Spraying on it, hitting on it. They are just seized fast. And I think our only option of what we're going to be able to do is we're going to have to heat this up all the way around. And obviously we can't get in there, but I think doing three sides will be enough that I think it'll break loose at that point if we heat it up. So I'm going to have to try and get a torch because I don't have one down here. Yeah, they are not budging by any means. Because ultimately, if I can't get the thing to steer and can't get these out or, or whatever, this thing's pretty much useless to us and it's not really gonna do us any good. So, evening number two, and these things are coming out. One way or another, they're coming out. Yeah. You got a different torch head so hopefully that helps i don't know what day we're on at this point but i'm having a heck of a time getting this out so here's our next plan of attack got a chain across and a chain binder on there and she's tight so i'm hoping if i start heating it up maybe with the, the force and the pressure on it constantly it'll loosen up I don't know. I'm running out of options. Let me just say, we're making some headway now and I was getting nervous because it wasn't moving, but I think this is a pretty good idea. And it didn't move the easiest, but it's definitely nowhere near where it was. And we got this thing maxed out. So what I think I need to do is obviously loosen all that, readjust, heat this again, and try moving this before it cools down too much and maybe spray it a little bit, get some of that worked in there, some WD-40, really try and get it loose. But we're, we're making progress. So I'm super happy right now. I think we finally made headway on this. This one here, it actually is trying to drop out, but it gets so tight and I think I'd have to try and really heat it up but I mean, I'm turning this thing until it drops the whole way with my hand. So once that caps on where it can't drop, this thing's super free. Same thing with this one, turning it free by hand. So that is super awesome. And that means at this point, we can finally continue to move forward with this build. So I'm super stoked about that. I already took the front tongue off here. So we're gonna take a lot of this stuff apart and paint it. This was like a three, four day ordeal. So yeah, but we finally got it done. I was starting to lose a little bit of faith in it. 
thought maybe I'd have to cut it apart or I really didn't know. So that's where we stand. This build can continue. I'm sorry, my voice sounds like crap. Still fighting sickness, but the work never stops. So I hope you guys enjoyed this struggle. And it definitely was a struggle when I say, because I fought with it for a while. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.